Welcome to the video folks. Apologies for the lack of updates. It's been incredibly busy and to be honest with you, the weather has been atrocious. Which brings me quite nicely onto this week's topic, which is the brick shelter behind me. So our client kindly instructed us to build a brick shelter so we can house some bricks to try and get over this sort of industry problem that we're facing at the moment with wet materials. It's wet bricks, it's wet blocks. Uh, it's uh, affecting the efflorescence coming out of the brickwork uh, once it's weathered in and it's affecting our production, our quality. It's just an absolute nightmare. We can't even cover the bricks up uh, with brick jackets or, or similar product because they're still so wet in the first place. So I'll show you this little uh, brick shower, or little brick shower. It's actually quite big. Uh, this houses about 23, 24 packs of bricks, which is about a lorry load. So let's get over and have a look, shall we? So here it is in all its glory. So uh, this is done to a scaffolding design. Anything uh, sort of outside standard scaffolding uh, needs to have a design. This has got beams and things in it, so it has to be designed. And then it has to be set out exactly to the design. Um, otherwise, it will end up blowing through the village, which... Is no good for anyone so the blocks on the corner uh, are, are for kentledge or for weight just to keep it weighted down it's actually quite windy today uh, and you can see obviously it's not going to go anywhere uh, we could enclose the sides but that just adds more complexity to designs uh, and plus it's nice to get a bit of air through them so they're actually drying out really well so how many packs of bricks we've got in here one two three four five five ten fifteen twenty twenty three about 25, 20, 25, 26 packs of bricks uh, and the wind's coming through them nicely now and they're, and they're drying. So this is going to enhance uh, the quality we deliver and uh, in, increase the production we deliver. So all we will do now is just rotate these bricks round when a new delivery comes in and they're soaking wet. We will simply rotate the bricks round, put, get the dry ones out and distribute them on site and put the wet ones in here and off we go, so incredible. So this is a new site uh, that we've just started. Well, actually it's not technically a new site. We've been here for five years on this phase. Uh, this is the last phase of this job. So we've been here five years in the end of April. So we've been awarded the last phase uh, brickwork and scaffolding package. So I'll give you a bit of a tour. The lads have been rained off yet again, uh, but I'll give you a bit of a tour what we've got on build. Uh, we're doing the brickwork and we're doing the scaffolding here uh, and we've just picked up another contract um, based on the success of this one and our relationship with this client as well so um, i'll give you a tour and i'll show you around and uh, get back in the groove right let's go on a quick tour then uh, everyone's gone home as i said because it's been raining so it's 126 units here traditional build we got the brickwork and we've got the scaffolding package uh, we've got an apartment block over here uh, we've got some terrace rows uh, coach house um, so give you a quick tour around shall we so this is the apartment block got two sets of concrete beams going on here so this particular client has a loading bay and a skip bay and that goes all the way up so we've got two loading bays on this uh, block of apartments so nine apartments three per floor uh, then over there we've got a block of five well, you can see the see the roof trusses uh, a lot of cladding on this phase uh, as opposed to render which I much prefer. So over here we have a coach house. So this is all fair face block work in here. So this will be left as it is. As you can see, it's been hit by the rain again. It's not a bad brick, these ones, quite small. Quite small uh, perp wise and bed joint wise. But stairwell into the coach house. And then we come across to the rest of the site so this is what we're doing at the moment with our bricks. We're having to cover them just over the top to let the wind get in the side of them to try and let the air get to them a bit. So there's another block. This is a block of five, this one over here, because the two end plots are actually masonettes. Uh, so they've got uh, ground floor as an apartment, top floor as an apartment. So this one, again, this is a cladded plot as opposed to uh, render much better i think the cladding actually looks lovely so that's another block of four and there's a little detached one on the end so the site's starting to open up now you can see our scaffold fans in position we do this uh, across the board now so basically second lift the scaffold goes up the fan goes in 
Um, we open up the doorway so you can get in, clean your plot out and take care of any bits and pieces you need to do uh, heading towards the pre-plaster. Again, uh, skip bay, loading bay, that's on every plot. Uh, and then the ground workers are cracking on, uh, working across the field. So historically, this site has been uh, quite busy, uh, but coming into this sort of tricky market conditions, uh, the pace has slowed up a little bit, but still, but still quite busy. Uh, I think we're up to about 15, 16 bricklayers here, which is not bad given the current climate. So uh, very grateful to have been awarded this package and this completes the balance of the phase. So it's 515 in total. Uh, and this is the last 126, so over the moon. And then we've got the new job starting in a couple of weeks. So um, all being well, I'll give you a tour of that as well. So a uh, little brief update, hopefully that helps. The brick shelter, uh, like I said, it's been done to a design. So uh, get onto your clients, see if you can push for one of them. Uh, it does help a lot and starting to filter through now uh, into the bricks that are being distributed, ready for our lifts. So I will get round to doing a house tour. Uh, the kitchen goes in Monday. Uh, I've done a little bit of the external. Second fixed carpentry is virtually there. Uh, I've got a, a, a electric connection date. I've got a water connection date. So really just the bells and whistles now and hopefully I'll be in there soon. And tomorrow I've got my first ever Brazilian Jiu Jitsu competition. So if I'm brave enough, I'll take the camera, get a bit of footage. And maybe you can see me getting choked out. Uh, if I don't, then you know I didn't compete very well. But uh, anyway, it should be fun. But thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. And as ever, got any suggestions of video content, put them in the section below. Uh, speak to you soon.